Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. For those of you that are new, thank you for joining me. For those of you returning, I appreciate it. This channel is an energy channel, which means that sometimes intuitively what I get will not be traditional. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Roles can be reversed. It could be the third party storyline, okay? If it doesn't resonate, don't take it as such. If you'd like a personal reading so that it does resonate, you can find that information down below or at mindsetunicorn.me. As well, there will be an extended that's available at Patreon, which is donation-based, or as a one-time purchase, okay? So, let's see what's going on here, all right? You're, <laughs> you're trying to stay in your heart, but I feel like there's an underlying like anger with something could have to do with work, could have to do with being exhausted with work, could have to be that um, you're just exhausted and you feel guilty about not being able to share the workload. All right, so let's see what is going on for you today. All right, what is still impacting you from the past? <laughs> Current energies, very interesting, and future possibilities. About love, whether this is union within yourself or for some of you, this is about you're in a union where there's not a balance in workload. And um, this is about coming into harmony in that energy, person, place, or thing. This could be a work, work thing. This could be a partnership, okay? So current energies, we've got the Queen of Cups crossed by the Page of Pentacles. Again, I'm getting this idea that like, it's like love is not enough. There has to be effort put in. And quite frankly, you're just tired, right? And things need to transform. What's still impacting you from the past is the Knight of Wands. Now, it could be that things were going the right direction. There was action taken towards something. Um, or you returned to a situation with a lot of passion, and then it all kind of has fizzled out. Current energies is that you've got all these wishes that you don't really see going anywhere. And so what's happening is it's like you're being tested on whether or not this is going to push you into releasing toxicity or whether you're going to embrace toxicity back into your energy. Future possibilities, the hangman. So I'm really getting this energy that if you don't address these things, the toll that it's going to take on you is going to compound to the point where you're not going to be able to stop. Like you're not, you're not going to be able to do anything other than stop. Like you're going to have to address it. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Moon. Yeah, there again, there's something here that you're not agreeing is causing you struggles within your heart space. Um, for some of you, this makes you not sure that you want to commit to this okay that you want to put into this in the heart and so you're really drowning yourself in work page of pentacles the empress in reverse the hermit and the two of swords again if you don't nourish yourself it's like the more you pull back away from that, the more it's like you're cutting your own head off. You require the ability to have heart and mind nourished. And um, it's like you're sacrificing yourself for 
almost like a feeling of unworthiness that you feel about yourself, which is so untrue. Knight of Wands. Eight of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups in Temperance. Again, I feel like whatever this is, in some way you distanced yourself from this but you didn't leave it behind. So you could have had a break from, you know, work, or you could have um, kind of pulled your heart out of the relationship, and then you came back in, because the truth is, is that you feel bonded to this, and when it's giving back and forth, it balances you, okay? You feel balanced. The star and the wheel in reverse, justice in reverse, the world, and the ace of wands. Again, spirit is just saying it's not going to balance unless you end this. It's almost like this inability to allow your heart to have space in the room and actually push your heart into this. Six of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the King of Swords. Saying that you don't know what your heart wants is completely untrue, but saying that you don't know what your heart wants is what will bring the toxicity back into this. The Hangman, Five of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. You're afraid to make change and that's what's hurting you. You know in your heart of hearts what your heart wants. You know in your heart of hearts what your mind wants. Yet you're very disconnected from them. And that is in truth what causes you the most hurt. Queen of Cups, <laughs> the Shaman, the Three of Arrows, and the Seven of Wands. Intuitively, what you know you're trying to do is to make changes without, it's like without hurting anyone. It feels like you're dealing with a very jealous energy, okay? Something that's very competitive in nature. And so you don't want to stoke the fire in this, and so you're trying to just bring everything into, like if I can just find a way to bring it into balance without hurting anyone. Okay. Eight of Cups in reverse. Injustice, which is the Two of Arrows, Six of Stones, and the Seven of Arrows. I think that there was a part of you that thought in the past um, it was time to be completely done with this. But the reason that you couldn't is because of there's a kind of sweetness, there's a kind of like symbiotic productivity that happens between you and this other energy. Again, I think that you're dealing with someone or this could be you that has a lot of insecurities someone needed to hear that and so again I feel like you just didn't want and have not wanted to hurt anyone in the situation ace of wands knight of wands three of stones and the devil which is the guardian in this deck the action that you're being called to take is to, it's like stop putting in action. 
Stop putting in the work. Um, like the way that this is going, this person is like, I'm not letting you out, but where you're at, you're dead. Like there's nothing left to you. And so as you are dealing with this, this very like dark energy comes out of you. Eight of Swords, Knight of Stones, Page of Bows, and the Eight of Bows, right? I think no matter what, you know that little by little, you're gonna move towards taking a greater risk. Part of that may be talking to others, getting support, building up that community and allowing yourself to have a safe space to be able to really speak the truth of what it is that you want because you're feeling like you can't speak your truth here. See what the universe says. Life renewed, the fool and the lovers. Again, this can be reborn, whether it's in this situation or you can be reborn into a divine love that perhaps is just waiting out there for you. But not unless you make the choice to plant something new. You cannot make this from the things that are not, that just aren't working here, okay? Let's see what advice Spirit wants to give you here. Yeah, okay. It's time to let go. It's time to move on. The passage is open. It's time for you to allow this and to be reborn. Okay, out of that comes something very beautiful. Um, you are not grounded. In fact, the way that you are sitting is very much unattached to what you want in life. This could be a deep mother wound for you, or it could be that you don't want to hurt the person that you have nurtured something with. But where you're heading is unfamiliar territory, but it does feel like home. And Spirit is saying, just breathe through this and allow yourself to kind of move forward. This is the journey for you, okay? Um, but it does mean that you have to let go, okay? Um, yeah, okay. Let's close this off with an oracle here. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, all right. Um, you may not want to release this because there's so much passion that you associate with it, but um, letting go and allowing yourself to grow really brings you that balance within yourself. And um, it doesn't feel like you are going to get there otherwise. Sanctuary. A sanctuary resides inside of you no matter what is happening. That inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath, again, Spirit keeps talking about this, and sit down on the throne of your own heart. You've got to go into your heart. For some of you, that means you have to find somewhere safe to be in your heart. That means perhaps finding a group that you can talk to, a place where you can connect. Um, I did that online during the pandemic. I um, found a safe space. And 
it did allow me to start healing and to recognize what it was that I wanted and what wasn't working. Okay, so um, I hope that that helps you. Um, this does remind me of the uh, new all-in-one serum tincture that I've just created. I'll let you guys know when I've got that first small batch ready to launch. Um, but it was something that I never thought I would do, but I am doing what I always, somewhere in my heart, knew that there was a part of me wanting something like that. So I feel like I'm sharing that with you because Spirit really wants you to know that your heart always knows what it is that you want and where you're going, all right? So I'm gonna to move to the extended. I'm going to look at this direction of where you're going and see what Spirit wants to share with that. And that link will be down below. If not, I hope that you guys have a beautiful week and that you don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and help others find the message, all right? Much love. Bye.